Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. On today's video, I want to show you two of the brand new delay types on the most recent firmware for the Axe FX3. We're going to be taking a look at the worn tape and the Zephyr delay. I just want to show you how I've been enjoying using these particular delays. But before we get started, I have my Les Paul with some PAF clones in it. Straight into the Axe FX3, I've got a bit of compression, the Band Commander amp model at stock settings, and a Greenback IR. Sounds like this on the neck pickup. You'll also hear the bridge pickup in a second. <laughs> Now, if you checked out my Tuesday tone tip looking at eight of my favorite clean amps, you'd be very well acquainted with this Band Commander model to get started. It just sounds so lovely no matter what you throw at it. All right, let's do this. Let's just move over to the delay block, which you'll notice I have placed in front of the amp block here. I've selected the worn tape and I've got it at the stock settings, but with the mix at 50%. Let's just have a listen to it and then talk about what it does and why it sounds the way it sounds. It is a very lo-fi sounding delay. There is quite a bit of modulation and degradation happening on the repeats. And if we just kind of peek under the hood for now and take a look at the modulation, you'll notice that there's actually two types of modulation happening here. We have this 0.5 Hertz sine wave just blended in a little bit as well as this 17.1 Hertz random LFO kind of emulating different ways that worn out old tape machines would behave. You have this higher frequency kind of seemingly random oscillation and you also have a more predictable low frequency type of modulation going on in there. Also, you'll notice in the EQ block, the low cut and high cut are quite exaggerated. So it is a very small bandwidth delay, which is great if you want to run it in front of an amp because that delay is not going to take up too much space around your guitar sound. I just basically like leaving it around 50% with a clean sound, but I do like to play around with the master feedback and the time. Let's try more of a slapback thing. Let's go 200 milliseconds, but we'll turn the master feedback up to about 150%. That's an awesome rockabilly style slapback on there. Alternatively, what you can do is crank this master feedback to 200%. We'll go for a longer delay time on here, maybe about 400 milliseconds. And what's fun with this is we can get this delay to start to self oscillate and rear itself into kind of like infinite repeat. So this is really nice if you like these kind of, you know, mid delays between 400 and probably 600 milliseconds uh, that start self oscillating and getting crazy.
way to use this worn tape delay is in front of a dirty amp with the mix quite low on the delay. What you'll notice because of that really low bandwidth EQ profile on here and together with some of the artifacts like the drive and the modulation, this delay will kind of duck itself naturally under your playing in front of a dirty amp. And this kind of brings to mind some of my favorite 70s guitar tones where uh, certain famous guitar players use tape based echo machines in front of their big stacks to get some absolutely iconic sounds. So let's check this out. I've just brought the mix down to about 9%. <laughs> So it's a very old school approach, but I think it sounds great. And it's something that I think I'm gonna use a little bit more in some of my live presets, just to get a different character and a different texture on some of my guitar solos. But speaking about guitar solos, the Zephyr delay is now my go-to delay type in the Axe FX3 if I want a gorgeous, lead sound in here. We'll hear it and then again, we'll do the same thing. We'll talk about why it sounds the way it does. I've left it at the stock settings, but I've turned the mix up to 50%, which is a little bit more than I would usually use for a lead sound, but I really want you all to hear the effect exaggerated. <laughs> So that is a pretty interesting sounding delay. You have one primary repeat and then it kind of gets washed out. The reason we have that washed out sound is if you go to the more section, you notice that the diffusion is turned up. And in fact, this is using uh, two new features in the delay block, the diffusion modulation. So not only do you have a diffuser in there, you can choose to modulate it as well. Similar to the worn tape, but not as extreme. There is some low and high cut action happening in there. You'll notice that the filter slope is very steep on the high cut. And personally, this is something I really like to do as well. But if I was going to dial in my ideal lead delay, I just bring the mix down to around 35, 40%. And I'm going to set the left right time ratio to 75% on here. You can play around with your favorite geometric ratio. I like 75%. This gives me a massive sounding dual delay. <laughs> That is what I'm talking about right there. If I switch over to the USA Lead Mid Gain Amplifier, which is my go-to amp that I use live, I've got the input boost and the fat switch on for this. With this Zephyr delay, I'm in heaven. <laughs> Now you could take elements like the diffusion settings in the Zephyr delay or the modulation from the worn tape or the bandwidth limited EQ idea and apply them to whatever your favorite delay or multi-tap delay mode is in the Axe FX3, FM9 or FM3. It really is one of my favorite features in the box that we have so much control over our delay repeats. Delay is my favorite effect apart from distortion and I'm sure a lot of you watching would probably share a similar sentiment to me. And these two delay types I think are straight into the top five for me when it comes to character filled colorful delays on the Fractal ecosystem.
Now, we just have to hear them together. So I'm gonna take the worn tape and turn it on again, low mix, and I've got this Zephyr delay with the left right offset. I'll play you all out on that USA lead mid gain sound. And then maybe I'll kind of switch over to a clean sound at the end and we can have a listen to what that sounds like. If you've got any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next Tuesday for another Tuesday Tone Tip. Take it easy.